With that backlog of tests, KCCI's Chris Gothner wanted to know if state officials had any idea of how many Iowans might actually have the virus, not just how many people have been tested positive. Chris is live in downtown tonight with that answer. Chris? And obviously, Stacey, nobody expects them to have the exact numbers on how many people who haven't been tested yet or haven't gotten their test results back actually have COVID. But what I really wanted to know with all the metrics that we've been talking about this week, is there a way to even estimate that? Iowans are scared and they're nervous, and I appreciate that, but we're going to get through it. Governor Reynolds got choked up Friday in her daily update to Iowans on COVID-19. She was joined by Sarah Reister, the deputy director of the Iowa Department of Public Health. Reister encouraged Iowans who tested negative but still feel sick to self-isolate anyway, because a negative test may be positive a few days later. With more than 200 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Iowa right now, I wanted to know something many of you have been asking. With so many people either unable to be tested or waiting a week or more for results, is there a metric, a model that estimates how many people in Iowa actually have this versus how many folks have tested positive? Thanks, Chris. We are working. We've heard um, requests for information about, you know, kind of more of the testing landscape and how many people are being tested and who's being tested and where are they? Is it just that, you know, nobody in a particular county is receiving a test information? So we're working on a way to, to make that information uh, more publicly available. Governor Reynolds announced no additional closures Friday and says there's still no need for an order to shelter in place. But there's a new development on an order she issued Thursday. Thursday. Reynolds' order halting non-essential elective surgeries until at least mid-April includes surgical abortions, joining a number of other conservative governors like those in Nebraska and Oklahoma. It goes without saying those orders have been controversial. Groups filed a lawsuit against Texas's governor Wednesday. And Planned Parenthood of the North Central State says it is assessing Governor Reynolds' order after just learning about it today. Live in Des Moines tonight, Chris Goffner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.